What is up, Kaji? So we all are familiar with Bruh. Roger. The more, this is something I cannot say in the first 15 seconds, but I can surely show you guys this clip because apparently, uh, make sure you guys are dropping thumbs up, man. Let's go for maybe five likes on the video tonight, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So the clip that you're seeing right now is dead ass in Call of Duty. So what you're witnessing, you're probably putting two and two together, your neurons are firing up, and you're probably like, bro, can a brother perhaps get lobbies like these in Call of Duty? Well, uh, you would be wrong, wrong because in, in order to get these lobbies, you need to actually bypass the skill-based matchmaking. And that's essentially what was going around, and as Roger beautifully, beautifully explained, and now I can actually show you this because uh, YouTube rules do not allow to show you. <laughs> As Roger once said, the more you F around, the more you're gonna find out. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight we're gonna find out what is happening because everybody's mad. Everybody's mad. Nero Sanma made a video. Let's actually roll. So this video is Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2. What the hell happened? Is the game dying? Kind of, actually. So we're gonna be talking about that here. So first things first, let's make a counterpoint before we even get started. Modern Warfare 2 is the number one best-selling game of 2022. This information is going to be coming in from NPD Data, which is the NPD group, which I've covered many times here in the channel. It's basically this firm that kind of collects yep. video game information. And they are pretty honest about the information that they give. Like, for example, if it's something involving the Switch, they will actually come out and say, no, they do not have the digital sales. They're only going off the information that they have. But Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is the number one selling game of 2022, followed by Elden Ring, Madden, of course, which Madden's kind of in the same state yeah. it is where it just sells well every single year regardless of the quality of the product Ragnarok Lego Star Wars Facts. so on and so forth and if we look at the month of December Modern Warfare 2 was also still number one right there with like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet again no digital sales there but Ragnarok Madden FIFA Sonic Frontiers and things like that kind of like the big mainstay franchises that release games semi-frequently and of course have the same people buying them every single year yeah for the month same of December, people come Christmas time come Black Friday which of course is in November but regardless why if you actually bought Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone 2 during the holiday break during that Christmas break to in the chat if you perhaps accidentally maybe even ended up buying the original modern warfare uh 2009 Bruh. anyone let me know i mean don't cap don't cap let us know chat because apparently call of duty modern warfare 2 <laughs> ended up doing the best rank last month it is number one this is coming from activision so what happened will actually shock you to your entire core. Let's roll. Let's Just see like, what you know, happened. Like that time of year, people buy the stuff that they know. They often get them as gifts and stuff like that. So Call of Duty, once again, best-selling game of the year. And if you guys didn't know this, I'm sure most of you do, but typically COD is, in fact, the best-selling game every single year, unless Rockstar puts out a banger. And Facts. the last couple times that happened was GTA 5, which was a freaking decade ago. And then I think Red Dead 2 also beat out what game was out that year. Was it Black Ops 4? I can't quite remember, but Red Dead 2 and GTA 5 were the only games yeah, that have ever Black beat now cod for an entire year's sales so cod itself pretty popular you would think right well once again we're going to be going back to the steam charts here this was actually posted to twitter today by j god and it's something that i've covered on the channel as well this is only for steam right the steam platform not battle.net not xbox not playstation but if you look at this but let's be real let's be real right like just pump the brakes for a second let's be real knowing the fact that if if steam is reacting this way there has surely, surely, like, PlayStation, Xbox, and other platforms are reacting the same way as well. At least to a certain extent. Maybe not even to a certain extent. Maybe to the entire situation. And Roger beautifully explained this. Let me actually get back to Roger really quickly here. Because this, this is, these are facts. The more you F around, the more you're going to find out. But the opposite is also true. If you don't F around, you're not going to find out. And if you don't find out... They're gonna find out, and if they're gonna find out, you're gonna find out. Hopefully, Bruh. that makes sense, because apparently that's the situation that's going around. There's no bad, there's no content, there's literally nothing going around with, in Call of Duty. And I have said this uh, quite quite frankly a billion times already, that Modern Warfare 2 has a good core. It's a pretty decent game. Now, Bruh. before you're like... Uh, Schizo, stop, stop the, the cat. cat. I'm just being dead ass with you. We're not gonna be getting a Call of Duty game ever that's gonna be this good. Bruh. Okay, uh, gone are the days when we used to have like flawless, when we used to get flawless Call of Duty games. That's not gonna happen. So we just gotta cope with what we're getting. And I, 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 I do agree. I do agree with the fact that we need to have high standards because Call of Duty player standards are some of the lowest. It has ever been in decades, okay? We got some of the lowest, like, like, bro, homeboys are asking for, like, what? 
two maps, one new map, one remaster, and what do we get? We end up getting like two uh, two remaster maps from Van Garbage. Apparently, season two is gonna come out. That's what we're saying. It's gonna have one map from World at War, another one from Van Garbage. Uh, gar garbage. Van Garbage. And that's essentially what we're getting. And. Yeah, man, Call of Duty players are getting done absolutely dirty. Information right here. I think it's silly to not try to think that this can correlate to the other platforms out there. You know, I mean, if this is happening this fast on Steam, I imagine something similar is happening on something like the Xbox or the PlayStation, right? So right. when Warzone 2 came out, 450,000 players at its peak. Like peak, concurrent, like picture, I mean, here concurrent numbers. What that means is like, let's say you jump into a live stream and you see there's, you know, 1,000 people watching. You know, that's the same idea. At one point, there was 452,000 people playing the game at one time, which was the maximum number of players for that day. Then you jump forward a week and that dropped down by about 130,000 people. You go one week after that, it dropped down by what? 50,000 people. After that, 60,000 people. The next week, it dropped down by even more. Then it basically... So essentially, what we're witnessing here is that... They didn't F around as much as possible. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to bring you back to the time where it all began. This is a legendary clip. What you're about to witness is the most iconic video game clip in the gaming history. Roll it. You greedy motherfuckers! I'm trying to make a fucking living here, and you greedy corporate can suck on my fucking 18... They didn't drop down really at all. They only lost 1,000 players between December Bruh. 14th and December 21st. But then the 28th, it continued to go down. Then going into January, it went down. January 11th, it went down even further. Like, that's pretty ridiculous, right? It's a very steady, like, week after week, the game is losing players, which is something that people are going to try and argue. And obviously, I'm here to kind of, like, give you guys kind of like a counterpoint and also agree with you to an extent. Like, when a game comes out, I understand that it's going to reach its peak pretty yeah. early on and that it's going to dwindle, right? That just happens. That, like, that happens with every game. For example, God of War Ragnarok. Uh, uh, mostly everyone would consider also Elden Ring. Let's actually not forget about Elden yeah. Ring. Elden Ring and God of War Ragnarok, both of them just killed it. People that enjoy those types of games, they loved it. I haven't seen any complaints. Apparently there was one guy that tried to give ee, 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 that tried to give God of War Ragnarok like a 6 out of 10. Bruh. And then like uh, the, the gamers, they went crazy. They started sending him heaven proposals. I cannot say certain words. Yep, ladies and gentlemen. They started sending him heaven proposals. You're like, uh, people were like, bro, you gotta go to heaven right now. We gotta send you to heaven. And he started, like, people started cracking their knuckles. People started doing helicopters. People started dropping, like, DDTs around the entire streets uh, of that hood, wherever that hood was. Uh, you, you know what I mean. Shit, Shiza was crazy. I cannot say that word on YouTube. I, I cannot say that Shiza word in English. But ladies and gentlemen, the situation is so wild that apparently, you know, November 16, it started off with 452k. And come January, just a month after, it is now sitting at 121k. That is more than a quadruple. That's like four times. Four times. So we're seeing like a four times decline. And that is very unusual for a multiplayer game. It is, it's kind of understandable if this was like in, in the range of maybe 20, uh, 217, 273, somewhere around that. Maybe even 184. That would be like, okay, you know what? It's like a half decline. Maybe like a four, uh, 55 percent decline, something like that. But to see like a, um, more than a 75 percent dec decline, I mean, damn, man. That's like one of those she kind of moment okay let me just keep a buck 50 so this is not looking, looking good for activision like, I, I i understand where those people are coming from but my counterpoint is that's a shit ton of people to lose <laughs> you know what i mean Bruh. like if we look at like there there it goes man he I just he just said the word that i couldn't say on youtube I, I <laughs> Oh but what we had here for January 11th, just two days ago, compared to the launch of the game and like the peak player count, I mean, dude, we're not even like like one third the player base, something like that. Like not even. Like it's ridiculous. They've lost so many of their players. And then Charlie Intel, which you guys know, I cover Charlie Intel all the time here in the channel. They put this tweet out here today. We've heard from multiple people that Warzone 2's player count dropped over the break at a higher rate than expected. Unclear what it all means for what will change at this point. Hope we get some good updates soon. And that's kind of why I want to make this video about here today is the idea of the update. And this was that moment the homie was like, let's get right into the news. I warned you guys, and that's why there have been so few videos here in the channel. The season one roadmap and the season one reloaded roadmap, like everything from that roadmap came out already. Like all the content that they've announced right. so far for season one has already been released. And as a result, we feared that we'd have to go throughout the entire
entire month of January with no updates, no changes, nothing new, nothing to look forward to, nothing at all until season two eventually comes out in February. And I was really hoping I made a video like on New Year's Day saying I hope that does not happen. And here we are about two weeks into January and there has been nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing, man. Meanwhile, COD Mobile is getting all sorts Ladies of Ladies and gentlemen, what we're figuring out, back to the original, original content, back to the Certified Hood Classic. The more you F around, the more you're gonna find out. But if you don't F around, you're not gonna find out, they're not gonna find out, and then you're gonna quickly find out that they're not finding out anything. And ladies and gentlemen, this also did happen. Click on this video on the screen because face swag, he went bozo. Click on this video or click the video on the left because this is on the second channel. We have a UFO that was uh, doing some stuff. Okay, so that's on the second channel. We'll click on that and I'll Bruh. see you right there.